Okay, in order to do this, you, for one, are going to have to have at least 12 street cred because 12 street cred is required for either reinforced tendons or fortified ankles. I'm not 100% sure if you can do it with fortified ankles. You might be able to. You can definitely do it with reinforced tendons, though. But they do cost 30k, so you also need to be able to afford them, obviously, which I have a, mon uh, a video on how to make make some money pretty easily early game as well. So anyway, once you have them, any Ripper Doc sells them, so you don't have to go to Victor, especially if you're still early game and you haven't paid Victor your debt you owe him. So once you have those, um, oops. Once you have those, you just need to get to the Arasaka Tower and we can continue on with what you need to do next. Now the closest fast travel point is California and Pershing. You're going to want to summon a car. Just make sure it's a car. Any car will work. Just don't use a motorcycle. Now what we are going to get is the iconic pistol in Kongu. Uh, turn that off. Kongu and then the iconic katana named yeah, Satori. So I've obviously already gotten them and I have actually already gone back up in the building on this character so I'll explain a little bit more of that when we get to the entrance but you're just gonna drive up up this road and park the car right here you're gonna get up on top of the car and you're gonna jump up on the wall and then we're just going to drop down without dying Pretty simple. Okay, so we are inside. Now we're gonna run around to the back and after you complete the heist, this building is completely closed off and locked down. You can't get inside. So there's like a big security gate that blocks the door up here. Now it's gonna be open for me on this character because I've already gone back inside. But I, um, I have a, another character that I specifically like made to uh, to do this. So I'll insert a clip, actually two clips of how you can open this this security gate and get inside the door. Uh, one uses a car that you can summon, and the other one uses a. Uh, way to use police to open the door so you'll see that when right now I guess now it's important that you have your starting vehicle back again for this because any other vehicle like I had that I bought that other vehicle to try this with and it was too small it just wouldn't work so it's important that you do the required stuff to give this vehicle back which you pretty much have to do the uh, uh, epistrophe, ep epistrophe mission or quest line, whatever. I don't know. It's the one where you go pick it. You go try to pick up your car from the garage, and then you get hit by a rogue Delamain vehicle, and then you have to go around and find all the rogue Delamain vehicles. But anyway, you'll eventually get this car back that you can summon. So it's important that you have it because the smaller vehicles just don't work. So you want to try to get as close to this door as you can. And you can sometimes get it to work just by getting out. But every time I get would get close and I get out, it always kicks me out the passenger door. So I've only ever really gotten it to work by trying to get back in the car from the driver's side. So that's actually how it worked for me here. So I get it right here. After I get out, it kicks me out the passenger side. And I walk around, jump up on the car, crouch and whatever to fall down in between and then try to get in and the gate opens actually i didn't even try to get in the car the gate just opened so 
that's how you do that one. Now this method, I'm not really a huge fan of. It works, but my thing is once you get in, you have all these police trying to kill you and whatever. So you gotta go over to get these, kill these people. You'll get a crime reported. You'll get the little drone that comes up, kill the drone, and then you'll start getting the police spawns. So once you get the police spawns, you need to basically run up to the doors and get the police to start spawning there. And eventually they will spawn at the doors and you will be able to get inside. So you have to kind of finagle them over here. It's a real pain. But so you see, I already have four stars, so like it's just crazy. And I even have the game on easy, and they still just hit so hard. So you gotta you gotta stay as close to this side as possible, so they'll eventually spawn behind you inside the building, and that will pop the gate. Over. So like I kill this guy, and I turn around the gate too. So then that's your way in. Okay, so now that you are inside, all you have to do is run back here. Now, if you use the police method to get inside, good luck, because I've never figured out how to not die. Because <laughs> the elevator won't work if you're in combat, so. But anyway, you gotta run all the way, run back. You can't use the elevator you use in the quest, which is the one over here you have to use the one that you come down in the end. So go to the right when you walk back in the lobby and you're gonna go up to the conference room. Elevators are extremely slow in this game so I skipped that ride for you. Now I always get confused on this, where you run in this part so I think we go this way, we turn here, we go through here. Yeah, I've done this enough times now that I think I know the path. All right, so you basically, you just gotta run back, basically backtracking from the way you came initially. So we're gonna go back up these steps and now this is one of the first tricky parts. So this entire ceiling is, you clip through it basically. So you can't actually walk on any part of this class ceiling. It's not really there, it just looks like it's there. So we gotta jump up on this tree. You can't really just stand on the tree, so you gotta like do it all at one, one go. As soon as you land on the tree, you gotta try and jump again to get up. And you can't really grab on the ledge either. I don't think you can. Every time I've ever done it, I just um, like went straight up onto the ceiling. So it may take you a couple tries, but it is possible. There we go. I actually did grab onto the ledge. Perfect. Okay. So now once you're up here, it's really foggy if it's daytime. So I just suggest moving to nighttime because it'll make it a little less foggy. I also recommend quick saving. Just in case you fall down somewhere and because you gotta jump up on this railing and it is real easy to slip off of it. So you're gonna jump up on the railing, jump up here, jump up here. Now I gotta jump up here get up on the roof. Now I've done it to where I've made it. I don't know how I did it the one time. It was crazy. But you're going to jump onto this thing. Oh crap. I think I just got myself stuck. Yep. See, and this is why it's good to save. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, 
so don't jump in that because you'll get stuck. No. This part, you have to jump. There's like an invisible wall here. So you have to jump out and then double jump and turn in. Kind of like... Didn't do it. I want to get stuck there again. Again, don't get discouraged. It is very possible and it's really not that hard. So just keep trying. You'll get it eventually. There you go. So we're up on the ledge. And that's pretty much it. You just gotta run in through the doors and you're back up in the penthouse. Now, the Kongu pistol will be right here. Chances are you probably picked that up. Um, the, the katana is the one that I would think most people miss because when it happens, you're just told to run outside. But you can actually go up the stairs and there's actually a, a decent little outfit that can be in the suitcase. It's like a pair of pants or something, I'm not sure. But it's not bad for an early game. And then there will be one of those like hover craft things up here. It's not here now, but when you come up, there will just be like little floating like cases up here. And that's where the, the katana is. So you can just loot it. And that's pretty much it. <clears throat> now the one other thing that you can get up here that I believe was only added in the like 1.5 patch whenever they released it for the newer generation of consoles um, which I never picked it up because I didn't know about it but right here there's an iguana egg so you can take the iguana egg now that's pretty much it to get out you just have to backtrack the entire way that you just came so we'll do that and I'll see you at the bottom. All right, now in order to get out, you can pretty much get out the way you came in. So just go back to that corner which is, it would be, if you're looking at the map, it would be the southeast corner of the little compound area. But that's where we drop down. So right over here, there's this rock. Just get up on top of the rock. And then you can jump across here. Climb up. Get up on this air conditioner unit. And climb over. And you're out. Okay, so I checked one of the other apartments and I couldn't find the place that you put the eggs, so I might be wrong on that, but I don't know if you can put it in the other apartments, so. But anyway, there's this little bowl right here. You can place the egg there. Now what? Patience is a virtue. Oh. Now, it will eventually hatch. I have no idea how long it takes. I don't know if you can wait for it to hatch. But it's basically the iguana that you uh, smuggle in the beginning of the game. So, that's all it is. But it's cool. It's just a neat little... So anyway, I hope that helped you if you needed those weapons for your stash, and um, if it did, let me know, leave a like, you know, I plan to put out another cyberpunk video here in a bit, so we'll see. I'm enjoying this game again, it's, it's fun. I definitely am glad I gave this game a chance, because I actually really did enjoy playing it, so anyway, have a good one.